Dear students, welcome to today's session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu, and today we are going to start off with a chapter, with a new chapter that is my greatest Olympic prize. Right. So this is a very, very, very powerful story where we get to learn many things. Right. And the most important of that is sportsmanship spirit. Right. How we will see. when we start off with the chapter so don't just look at the chapter as a chapter but look at the chapter as something from which you learn some qualities you imbibe you inculcate those qualities in your lives as well so with that thought in mind let's start off with our session today so first of all guys let me try and understand what are the problems that you people are facing in your daily life when it comes to education especially in the pandemic uh, uh, times so the the survey which was conducted by us the that has revealed that has that has identified some of the problems which you face when it comes to education so if you agree with me guys on this do tell me yes yes in the chat box right away okay so guys uh first of all there are so many doubts be it pandemic or any normal situation students do have a lot of doubts and they they do need someone to solve all their doubts right that is very 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 important if the doubts remain unsolved there is a you know you feel like oh my god i don't know this kashi mujhe mil jata hai hai na kashi doubt mera solve ho jata so there is this itch in you right unless and until your doubt is solved है कि नहीं बच्चा सो so, ये बहुत सारे डाउट्स जो है वो अनसॉल्व रह रहे हैं स्पेशली इन टाइम्स ऑफ पैंडेमिक क्योंकि अभी कैसे क्लासेस हो रहे हैं आपके ऑनलाइन क्लासेस है ना तो उसमें क्या हो रहा है प्रॉपर सेटअप तो है नहीं तो वेबेक्स हो रहा है जूम मीट हो रहा है या वो कोई भी एप्लीकेशन से हो रहा है टेक्निकल ग्लिचेस इतने हैं नेट बहुत सारा प्रॉब्लम नेटवर्क इशूज बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम्स है आपके डाउट टीचर तक पहुँच नहीं पा रहा है राइट क्योंकि पूरा का पूरा न्यू सेटअप है अब वो चेंज करने में बहुत टाइम लगेगा एंड उसका प्रॉपर सेटअप नहीं है अभी तक सो so, इतने बच्चे एक टीचर बहुत प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है आपका डाउट पहुंच ही नहीं पा रहा बीच में कहीं खो रहा है राइट एंड टीचर पढ़ा रहे हैं स्मार्ट बोर्ड आई मीन नॉर्मल व्हाइट बोर्ड से उस पर आपको समझ नहीं आ रहा है कॉन्सेप्ट क्लैरिटी नहीं हो रही है दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम वो मैंने ऑलरेडी देखा है यहाँ आस भी दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम की बच्चे बहुत फेस कर रहे हैं अभी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट लेट्स फोगेट अबाउट पैंडमिक टाइम नॉर्मल टाइम्स में भी आपके डाउट्स बहुत सारे डाउट्स अनसॉल्व रह जा रहे हैं अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आपको पता नहीं है नोट्स कहाँ मिलेगा टेस्ट आपको है मिल रहे हैं बट आप उसको कर नहीं पा रहे हो अच्छे से यू आर स्कोरिंग लेस बिकॉज कॉन्सेप्ट क्लैरिटी नहीं है असाइनमेंट्स या तो नहीं मिल रहे हैं अगर मिल भी रहे हैं तो यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व एंड यू डो नॉट है प्रॉपर गाइडेंस कंपिटिटिव एग्जाम्स के गाइडेंस नहीं है आपके पास चॉइस ऑफ स्केड्यूल एंड चॉइस ऑफ लैंग्वेज बींग अदर टू मेज ऑफ प्रॉब्लम अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल दीज तो बच्चा लोग we have not just identified your problems but we have also come up with the solution of all the problems that you face so yes doubts solved kaise see we have special team for catering to each and every problem of yours so doubt ke liye hamare paas kya hai hamare paas team of class teachers hai along with master teachers both collaboratively is get both collaboratively uh is there for the uh, both are there for the uh, you know solving of your doubts theek hai dusra hai notes jo ki aapko at the end of the session mein milne wala hai third hai tests and assignments assignments aapko each and every session ke baad milne wale hain and test hum monthly conduct karte hain so uske liye bhi hamare paas team hai alag se right so again another team catering to your needs तो आप देख रहे हो कि हमारे पास स्पेशलाइज्ड डिफरेंशिएटेड टीम है टू केटर टू योर डिफरेंट नीड्स बिकॉज एक पर्सन के लिए इतने सारे यू नो प्रॉब्लम्स को केटर करना पॉसिबल नहीं है सो ऑफ कोर्स वी नीड टू डिवाइड द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज सो दैट इज व्हाई वी हैव स्पेशलाइज्ड टीम्स सो दैट यू डू नॉट फेस एनी गैप इन योर प्रॉब्लम इन योर इन योर एजुकेशन राइट सो so, टेस्ट जो हम कंडक्ट करते हैं उसके बेसिस पे हम आपको परफॉर्मेंस रिपोर्ट भी देते हैं उससे क्या होगा उससे आप ट्राई करोगे जो जो प्रॉब्लम एरियाज हैं उसको सॉल्व करने का सो दैट यू कम अप विद अ बेटर रिजल्ट उसका भी 
एक सोल्यूशन हमारे पास है जिसका मैं अभी अभी जिसको मैं रिवील करने वाली हूँ राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम के लिए भी हम गाइडेंस प्रोवाइड करते हैं वी हैव चॉइस ऑफ स्केड्यूल एज वेल एव चॉइस ऑफ लैंग्वेज एज वेल तो हमारे पास लैंग्वेज के लिए दो है हिंदी मीडियम एज वेल एज इंग्लिश मीडियम इंस्ट्रक्शन राइट एंड चॉइस ऑफ स्केड्यूल भी प्रोवाइड यू टाइम स्लॉट तो टाइम स्लॉट के हिसाब से आप अपना चॉइस कर सकते हो स्केड्यूल एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी ऑल्सो हैव बोनस फीचर्स तो बोनस क्या है अनलिमिटेड लाइव क्लासेस माइक्रो कोर्स क्रैश कोर्स तो हमने अभी परफॉर्मेंस रिपोर्ट का बात किया राइट परफॉर्मेंस रिपोर्ट जब हम बोल रहे हैं सो परफॉर्मेंस रिपोर्ट में आपको फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपने ये सब्सक्रिप्शन लिया यू आर एनरोल्ड इन टू द लॉन्ग टर्म बैच लेट्स ठीक है तो लॉन्ग टर्म बैच में क्या होगा कि आपका स्ट्रक्चर्ड वे में इन सिंक होती है स्कूल करिकुलम है आपका लॉन्ग टर्म बैच तो आपका स्ट्रक्चर वे में एडुकेशन चल रहा है ठीक है तो जब आपका एडुकेशन चल रहा है और आपने माइक्रो आपने टेस्ट भी अटेंड किए हैं हमारे मंथली टेस्ट तो उससे आपको पता चला कि अच्छा ये कॉन्सेप्ट जो डायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच वाला कॉन्सेप्ट है ये मुझे एक और बार रिवाइज करना पड़ेगा ये अगर कोई रिवाइज करा देता तो बहुत बढ़िया होता सो दैट इज ऑल्सो देयर फॉर यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ माइक्रो कोर्स ठीक है तो उसका आप माइक्रो कोर्स अटेंड कर सकते हो पूरा रिविजन आपका इंडिविजुअल चैप्टर वाइज होता है माइक्रो कोर्स में वी ऑल्सो हैव क्रैश कोर्स जहां आपका एट अ टाइम होल सिलेबस कवर होता है होल सिलेबस रिविजन होता है एंड पर्सनलाइज अटेंशन विच इज नॉट ऑलवेज पॉसिबल इन यूट्यूब जो कि बहुत बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है विच इज नॉट ऑलवेज पॉसिबल इट इज पॉसिबल देयर इन आर वेदांत सब्सक्रिप्शन गाइज एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबल इन आर वेदांत सब्सक्रिप्शन सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू for availing this amazing opportunity designed only and only for you is visit vdnt.in/ytpro uske baad aapke paas aayega options choose your grade to aap apna 10th grade choose kar lena choose your board icsc icsc choose kar lena check out the details jo bhi maine bola hai sare details hai yahan pe you can select all the details theek hai i mean you can cross check all the details and then jab aap satisfied ho ko theek hai ma'am ne jo jo kaha tha sab isme hai i am satisfied so click on get subscription to jab aap click karte ho aapke paas khul jata hai teen alag options aur theek hai khul ja sim sim ki tarah three teen darwaze darwaza number 1 darwaza number 2 aur darwaza number 3 theek hai तो दरवाजा नंबर एक में है वन मंथ सब्सक्रिप्शन जहां आपको पे करना है टू सिक्स नाइन नाइन आपको पे नहीं करना है सॉरी वो है बिना कूपन कोड वाला इफ यू अप्लाई द कूपन कोड कूपन कोड क्या है अभी आपको बताने वाली हूँ कूपन कोड बताऊंगी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कूपन कोड अप्लाई करने से क्या होगा टू टू नाइन फोर में आपका मिलेगा वो सब्सक्रिप्शन दरवाजा नंबर दो में है थ्री मंथ वाला सब्सक्रिप्शन उसमें क्या है सिक्स ट्रिपल नाइन नहीं देना है जो आपको कितना देना है फाइव नाइन फोर नाइन ओनली दरवाजा नंबर तीन में है आपका जैक पॉट जो है सिक्स मंथ्स वाला सब्सक्रिप्शन राइट सो सिक्स मंथ्स वाले सब्सक्रिप्शन में आपको कितना पे करना है नाइन सेवन सेवन फोर आफ्टर अप्लाइंग द कूपन कोड तो बेटा बेटा कूपन कोड क्या है कूपन कोड है एस डब्ल्यू आर पी आर ओ विच इज गोइंग टू गिव यू टोटल फिफ्टीन डिस्काउंट अब मैंने जैकपॉट क्यों बोला सिक्स मंथ्स वाले को इसलिए बोला बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव क्यों बिकॉज इफ यू आर पेइंग वन मंथ छह बार इफ यू आर पेइंग तो क्या हो रहा है यू एंड अप पेइंग मोर देन व्हाट यू आर पेइंग व्हेन यू आर पेइंग फॉर द सिक्स मंथ्स वाला एक बार में ठीक है कैलकुलेशन में आप लोग मुझसे ज्यादा बेटर हो आई एग्री टू इट सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट और अगर आप कैलकुलेट करोगे आप देखोगे कि पर क्लास आप कितना पे कर रहे हो नॉट मोर देन नाइन एम रुपीज टेन भी ज्यादा है एट टू नाइन रुपीज पर क्लास जब आप ट्यूशन लेते हो वो भी सिर्फ दो सब्जेक्ट का मे बी मैथ्स और साइंस आप मोर देन टू थाउजेंड पे करते हो राइट बट यहाँ पे आपको क्या मिल रहा है सिक्स सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी मैथ्स इंग्लिश सोशल साइंस सिक्स सब्जेक्ट ओनली एट कितना सिक्स मंथ्स के लिए अलॉन्ग विथ ऑल दी अमेजिंग फीचर्स ठीक है नाइन सेवन सेवन फोर में That means not more than nine rupee per class. So each team के लिए आप not even you are spending more than one rupee for each team, master teacher, class teacher, product team, ठीक है content team इतने सारे team हैं, है ना? And बच्चा लोग board में ninety percent पाने के लिए what you need to do is what you need to have is guidance, proper guidance, proper revision, equal importance to all the subject. वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट है 
और ये तीनों चीज इफेक्टिवली इन तीनों चीज का सिंक्रोनाइजेशन अगर नहीं हुआ तो आपका बोर्ड रिजल्ट जो है वो गिर जाएगा सो वी इन वेदांत प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड यू विद अंक्रोनाइज आई मीन सिंक्रोनाइज आई मीन स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चरली जो आपको प्रोवाइड कर रहा है स्ट्रक्चर दे रहा है आपके एजुकेशन को और ये पूरे चीज को सिंक्रोनाइज वे में आपके सामने ला रहा है सो येस डू नॉट मिस दिस अमेजिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सब्सक्राइब टू वेदांत प्रो सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड लेट अस हैव अ गुड क्वालिटी एजुकेशन एंड लेट अस बी ऑल अचीवर्स राइट गाइस सो विद दैट थॉट इन माइंड लेट अस स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन टुडे दैट इज माय ग्रेटेस्ट ओलंपिक प्राइस इसमें हम क्या करेंगे आज हम करेंगे एनालिसिस ऑफ द चैप्टर ठीक है सो लेट्स बिगिन विद अ ब्यूटीफुल कोट and quite applicable to all of your lives is quote ko acche se padhna not only padhna isko samjho aur isko apply karo apne life mein right what is it if you have if you have had a good time playing the game you are a winner even if you lose iska matlab kya hai agar aap kisi game mein this is this is about sportsmanship spirit which we will also see in this poem to ji jo olympics hota hai ओलंपिक गेम का मोटो है नॉट विनिंग इट इज ऑलवेज पार्टिसिपेटिंग वाई क्योंकि अगर आप एक गेम में इन्वॉल्व हो रहे हो राइट right? कोई भी स्पोर्ट्स हो अगर आप एक गेम में इन्वॉल्व हो रहे हो आप इस मोटो से इन्वॉल्व नहीं हो रहे हो कि आप जीत के ही आओगे बट आप इस मोटो से इन्वॉल्व हो कि आप गेम को एंजॉय करोगे एंड दिस इज नॉट जस्ट Uh, in terms of game, it could be applicable in terms of anything in your life. For example, suppose your exam. ठीक है? Please fall in love with the entire process of studies. जैसे कि मैं हर बार आपको three dates का example देती हूँ, right? That strive for the excellence. है ना? Enjoy करो कि जैसे आपको याद होगा कि three dates में जो machine वाला definition याद है? कि जब हम किसी चीज का पूछते हैं डेफिनेशन हम ये सोच के क्यों नहीं सोच ये सोच क्यों नहीं सोचते हैं कि हमें आज कुछ नया सीखने मिलेगा वाई डोंट बी फॉल इन लव विद द प्रोसेस द इंटायर प्रोसेस ऑफ लर्निंग हम इसको प्रेशर के हिसाब से क्यों लेते हैं इफ वी स्टार्ट लविंग वॉट वी आर डूइंग यू विल सी दैट वी ऑटोमेटिकली आर परफॉर्मिंग गुड सो ये स्ट्राइव फॉर एक्सलेंस fall in love with the performance fall in love with the entire process you will see you are automatically successful so success is not something which will come to you from outside okay if you fall in love with the thing that you are doing if you are interested with whatever you are doing automatically you will succeed in that particular field right so enjoy your life enjoy whatever you are doing theek hai bachcha don't feel it as a burden जैसे ही आप बर्डन के हिसाब से उसको लेना स्टार्ट करोगे यू विल स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग आपको एंजाइटी होने लगेगा आप स्ट्रेस फील करना शुरू करोगे एंड देन इट वुड लीड टू फॉल इट के नॉट मेक यू राइज दैट इज व्हाट वी विल सी आल्सो इन दिस चैप्टर एज वेल ठीक है सो दिस चैप्टर इज बाय दिस इज इज बाय जेसी ओवेंस ओके नाउ ही वाज एन अमेरिकन एथलीट Now Owen specialized in in the sprints and long jump and was recognized in his lifetime as perhaps the greatest and the most famous athlete in track and field history. So he begins uh this is actually an autobiographical account and this is a very uh, this is a true story okay in the life of Jesse Owen and uh, uh this is a true story of friendship also uh, including a uh, sportsmanship spirit this is also about true friendship okay so these are the two recurrent theme uh, which runs along the entire story okay so true friendship in berlin olympics 1936 where he won four gold medals so he not only won four gold medals there you will see at the end of the uh, story he says he also won something else so what is that something else we will come to know at the end of the story so He says he begins uh, with saying that he begins by saying that the Chancellor of Germany Adolf Hitler. So it was the time of Hitler, guys, and you all know that Hitler was a very shrewd dictator. He only was concerned about 
the pure Aryan race and he considered that the Germans belonged to the pure Aryan race and he belonged and he believed in the supremacy of their, of their own race and he looked down upon any other race and you all know the story about uh, how you know the, the Jewish people also faced uh, you know this discrimination and they were eliminated right so you all know the story you all know your history well right so uh, uh, so Hitler was preparing with his performance to prove the superiority of the Aryan race again in Olympic medals in, in Olympic games also he wanted to prove the superiority of uh, Aryan race how by you know trying to get the German people win the German athletes the German performers win most of the gold medals in the event but Jesse Owens, who was he? He was a black American man. He had other, so he was a Negro, it is mentioned in the book. But please do not use it in the answer because that is a derogatory term nowadays, okay? So at that time, it was not. But now it is a derogatory and it's a, it's a racial term, okay? So anyway, so he was a black American man and he was determined to prove Hitler's theory wrong, okay? How? He could only prove his theory wrong if he could get hold of uh, one or two of those gold medals which Hitler thought would be only could and could only be won by the Hitler uh, by the Germans and then with that thought in mind he had trained himself he was determined so he had trained himself and disciplined himself for years and then a year before the grand event he also had set a world record of 26 feet right uh, 26 feet one uh, to four inches in running board jump at his university so everybody expected that he is going to win the olympic very easily but he was surprised to see when he went there he was surprised to see the german athlete named laszlo okay so he is another important character so we encountered one important character jesse and he, the, uh, the other important character was laszlo right and he was hitting almost 26 feet at the practice leaps and that was noticed by Jesse, right? So, he also came to know that Hitler had kept him under wraps. So, Hitler, he was a special man for Hitler because he was expecting that this man is going to win all the medals for him and then thereby proving the theory that the Germans are the best, okay? So, knowing Hitler's um, cunning ways, Jesse got angry and more determines note the fact that he got angry so now you see he was there his motto was to win he was not having uh, you know he was not enjoying the performance what his motto was only to win why because he wanted to prove someone wrong and that is why that is what led to anger that is what led to his frustration that is what led to his stress so when you see that, oh, I have to do that, he was on mental pressure, right? So when you see that you are in mental pressure, you automatically have that anxiety and that pushes, that pulls you back somehow, okay? So that was happening with uh, Jesse as well. So angry athlete, very important line from your book, an angry athlete always makes mistakes. When you are doing some work, or doing maybe um, if even if it is a game or any other if you are there on some performance you are performing you are not you can't afford to get angry or you can't afford to uh, you know make i mean uh, you can't afford to have any heightened emotion so koi bhi aap emotion ko bahut aisa emotion aap apne andar nahi la sakte ho jo aapko stress kar de jo aapne stress lae jo aapke andar i mean you start disturbing you to the point okay so jesse fouled as a result in the first two tries obviously kyunki uska emotion anger mein tha right to wo enjoy nahi kar pa raha tha apna performance so if you are not able to enjoy the performance you are bound to fail so the most important point is to enjoy what you are doing right then he thought did i come for this to make a fool of myself and he was very frustrated suddenly he felt the hand on his shoulder this was his rival his competitor last long 
whom he had seen performing excellently. Question time, guys. Anger affects one's performance. Justify the statement. So just now I gave you a lecture on this. So please mention this in the chat box right away. Right? Next. Now, ye jo friendly man tha, who was he? Ye tha, blue-eyed man. Hai? He was none other than our second important character of the story, Laszlo. Hai? And isne ek bohat badiya tip diya usko. What was that tip? To leap from a few inches back of the boat. Remember this tip. Hai? Now, this tip actually helped eventually. Helped, uh, you know, uh, helped Jesse to uh, qualify for his final. So, he was, he actually owed him, right? And at that moment, in that night, wo kya kya? he went to Les. He went to meet Les in order to thank him. And both of them had a good friendship. Both of them started talking with each other. Unke beech ek achha rapo ban gaya. And uh, Jesse also came to know when he started conversing, he also came to know that la, uh, that that Lars did not believe in the Aryan supremacy theory, which was Hitler's theory, tha, right? And finally, they became so good friends that, you know, Lars, he said, he also wanted uh, Jess, Jesse to do his best, even if it meant Jesse's uh, winning. Uh, that means what? Lars wanted that Jesse to do his best, because he knew that because the moment he saw him, Usne ye pucha tha usse, what is, what, uh, how are you? Usne, usse ye question kiya tha, how are you? Okay, so he had understood. So, Les, uh, 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 sorry, Les mein ye ek, uh, he had this, you know, in his mind, usme ek perceptive, uh, he was ve very perceptive. So, wo samaj gaya tha ki he was frustrated due to some reason and that is why he wanted and he wo samaj gaya tha ki wo bohat achha athlete hai. But he is somehow not able to perform his best, not able to give his best because of something wrong in him. And that is exactly why he had asked this question, how are you? Right? So, therefore, he wanted him to do his best. Doesn't matter even if he is winning. Agar Jesse jeetta hai, toh bhi koi usko fat nahi padta hai. But somehow he wanted him to do his best. Question, what was the most important lesson given to Luz? given by Lars to Jesse. Okay, bacha? So please mention this in the chat box right away. The next day, Lars broke his own past record. Right? And Lars, uh, next day, kya hua? When it was a big day, Lars apna khud ka past record, he had broken that. And Jesse, by seeing this, kyunki ab usme, unme dosti ho gai thi, and now, Jesse, uh, Jesse ka jo, Ara anxiety tha after having a conversation with Les, Les, uh, wo sara anxiety bhi khatam ho gaya tha. So now he started enjoying. Theek hai? To jab usne dekha ki Les itna achha perform kiya, he got inspired. To uske man mein ye feel nahi aaya ki now I have to win ya koi competitive wala feeling nahi aaya. He took it positively. Usne ye cheez ko bohat hi inspirational tarike se liya. And that is very, very important. So, jab aap mein, jab tak aap mein ek sportsmanship spirit nahi hoga, which is, which is required, jab tak aap mein healthy sportsmanship spirit nahi hoga, healthy competition nahi hoga, that competition is not a good competition and aap ho nahi jeet paoge. So, initially, usne yehi isi lust ko dekha ta perform karte huye, but he got angry, hai na? So, wo kya tha? it was not a healthy competition and that is why he could not perform well. But after he had, uh, you know, uh, uh, made friendship with Luz, to usne uske baad jab perform karte hue dekha, he did not get angry. He, on the contrary, got inspired by Luz. And that is what meant, that is what inspired him to give an equally good performance, right? Finally, he landed from his final jump. And Luz was the first man there to congratulate him. Right? He shook his hands with Jesse. So finally, when, you know, uh, he got that, uh, he, he uh, took his final jump, uh, who was standing beside him? Les. Luz was standing beside him. 
He shook his hand with Jesse firmly, despite the fact that Hitler was watching them from the stands. Stand, right? This was a great display of true friendship and sportsmanship spirit from Lutz. So, what did we learn in this chapter? Mein? We learned the value of true friendship, even though they were competitors in the game or in the sports. So, dekhoge, aap, if you notice, when we look at a game, mein dekhte hai, there is always this shaking of hand. Why is shaking of hand? Kyu hai? To show a gesture of friendship. To show a gesture of sportsmanship spirit that is very important in any field, right? Even if it is a normal cricket game, cricket match, ho, ya, ya, it's a boxing ring, always there is a shaking of hand and that handshake should never be from outside, just external. It should come from within. Only and only you will be able to enjoy the performance. And if you enjoy the performance, get inspired even from your competitors. Only then you would be able to perform your best. Right, guys? So this is what uh, is needed. And there was a great display of true friendship and sportsmanship spirit from Lutz. Jesse Owen won, uh, went on to win four gold medals that year. Right? And he feels that Lutz Long's friendship was the greatest Olympic prize that he had won. So he is compare, he is saying that Jovi Mane medals jita, usse zada precious kya hai, wo friendship jo mujhe Lutz Long se mila, bina uske mein yahan tak bilkul nahi pahunch paata. So without his precious friendship, I could not have reached till, to this point. And this is remembered a true story, right? And uh, in their friendship ended only when Long died in World War II, sadly. Question for you guys, a very important question. What was Jesse's greatest Olympic prize? And then all, uh, he also adds uh, a note after his story that Luz was the perfect example of sportsmanship spirit. And he also says at the end, he compares that uh, his friendship with the 24 karat gold, which is the pure gold, hota hai, right? That is very, very, very important. Okay, bacha? Homework is what is referred to as 24 karat friendship in the story. Okay? So please mention this, write this answer, and uh, post your comments in the comment section. I would love to read your comments. And we will take up this story. I mean, take up, uh, we have completed the story, but last ka jo ending hai, I would like to discuss more on this. Jab aap homework question karoge, let me see how, what are your inputs on this and then we will have a discussion on this and we will move ahead with the important thematic concerns and question answers in the next session. So guys, if you have understood this chapter, agar aapko lagta hai that yes, you have enjoyed the lesson and also imbibed some value points in your life, so please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't subscribed. Right guys? So before ending, a gentle reminder not to forget about the pro subscription guys. So choose your grade uh, and board class 10 CBSE. Okay? And check out the details. Whatever details I have explained to you. Check it whether I have said or not. And then when you are satisfied, click on get subscription. And finally, as I told you, three doors are you have. So, whatever door you like, you choose. That is the jackpot door, six months wala hai. Darwaza number three. So, but still, you can go with any one of your convenience. Again, we are very flexible in that as well. So, ye bacha log aapi ke liye bana hai. so avail this opportunity and give, all, give us also the opportunity to provide you with the best and take you holding your hand to the top guys so don't forget the coupon code swrpro and this is the link thank you for watching guys don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment on the homework answer and of course subscribe agar abhi bhi subscription nahi hai to okay bye bye take care see you again in the next session